More than $77 million are invested in this project, the first major downtown development since the Renaissance Center. The rain failed to dampen the enthusiasm inside this tent because this groundbreaking is a part of the overall scheme to revitalize downtown. The Detroit Police Blue Pigs Band set a festive mood for the groundbreaking, attended by nearly every dignitary associated with a downtown establishment. Sprinkles and the threat of a thunder shower led to the speech making under a tent. All of this is possible because of a coalition of business and political leaders working with the federal and state government to make it happen. And pleased to represent the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, a public partner in the Riverfront Residential Project. Yet another sign that downtown Detroit is alive and well. I want to offer my congratulations and say here we go again. Another commitment and a very strong commitment for the city of Detroit for this magnificent waterfront. It was a grand day for the two men who created the Riverfront West concept seven years ago. We finally made it here. Uh, for the last 11 years, Coleman's been saying, Let's get the shovel in the ground. Let's get the shovel in the ground. I see they got enough shovels here. We could probably, we could probably do all the excavation here today with the people and the shovels. As I looked over the site of this place here, I think it was seven years ago, I had a little dream to see on this place several thousand people to be living. And I must say to you, those seven years had many heartaches. Unquestionably, we are breaking ground today on one of the choice addresses in the country. Now in two years, the riverfront will have a major addition, gleaming twin towers with one and two bedroom apartments and a marina. Barring strikes or other halts in construction, the first tenants will move in by the fall of 1984. Bob Bennett, News for Detroit.